ang tanong ngayon from uh, again the academic point of view mut and academic actually yung resolution ng city council bago election din na sinasabi nila Mr. President wag niyo pong pirmahan yung uh, new Baguio City Charter kasi hindi kami nakonsulta and uh, mut and academic in the sense that yung Baguio City Charter has been signed into law by President Duterte. Now, yung usual laws that will affect the lives of our people, eh, tinatanong ang LGU through a plebiscite or uh, a referendum whether or not they want the law no, to be, to be uh, implemented or whether or not the law can be implemented. Maalala nyo yung Autonomous uh, Act for the Cordilleras, bumoto po tayo doon in a plebiscite at dininay natin na hindi siya dapat mag-apply dito sa ating syudad. Dito sa New Baguio Charter, nakalimutan siguro ng author na lagyan ng provision na dapat itong batas na ito ay submitted to a plebiscite or referendum of the people to determine whether or not they agree with the provisions of the law. Now, uh, sabi yata ng author is there is no need to for a plebiscite or a referendum kasi we are a chartered city. That might be a wrong notion or a wrong misinterpretation of the local government code. Kasi nga, ang sabi ng local government code, pag yung batas ay directly affecting the lives and the properties of our people, then it should be submitted to the people in a plebiscite or in a referendum para ma-determine kung uh, gusto nga nila yung batas na yan. At doon sa kaso sa Supreme Court, Aurelio Umali versus Commission on Elections and Cesar Vergara. Uh, uh, at saka meron din tayong Bautista versus Commission on Elections. Sinasabi ng Korte Suprema na pag apektado yung buhay ng tao sa isang local government unit, then tanungin nyo muna sila kung gusto nila itong batas na ito. Uh, yung argument na chartered city naman tayo, eh, kung chartered city tayo, bakit tayo pinag-participate doon sa autonomous region for the Cordillera? So parang may conflict. Uh, may magagawa pa ba tayo? Meron uh, somebody, no, uh, taxpayer, or even the city council, and we ask them to do that, should question the constitutionality of this law because uh, isang ground lang yan. Hindi niya uh, nilagay na dapat magplebisito. Uh, fatal defect yan, constitutional defect. Of course, yung ating mga ibalois, yung ating mga indigenous people should also question the provision on uh, lands as uh, fixed in the new law. And uh, we heard one official saying, di bale yung defect, pero ito ay makukure, no? mareremedyohan dun sa implementing rules and regulations. Sorry to say that wala pong, again, walang provision doon sa bagong batas na nagsasabing na the law will take effect after the uh, creation or the uh, uh, finalization of an implementing rule or regulation. The law is immediately executory 15 days after its publication in a newspaper of general circulation. So the only recourse now, the only remedy now is go to the Supreme Court and declare no, the, uh, the uh, new charter as unconstitutional.